Victoria's Police Minister Peter Ryan is under intense pressure tonight after two of his closest advisers were forced to resign because of the damning report by the police watchdog. The Office of Police Integrity found Ministerial Advisor Tristan Weston, assisted by Parliamentary Secretary Bill Tilley, plotted to bring down the then Chief Commissioner Simon Overland. Francis Bell reports from Melbourne. It's a tangled web of manipulation and influence involving government, police and the media in Victoria. And the police minister's office was right at the heart of it. I accept responsibility for the fact of having employed uh, Tristan Weston in my office. I had absolutely no idea that he was undertaking the course of conduct which is revealed by this report. The OPI says Peter Ryan's ministerial adviser Tristan Weston, a former police officer and Liberal candidate, waged an energetic campaign to bring down the former Chief Commissioner Simon Overland through damaging media leaks and a totally inappropriate relationship with Mr Overland's former deputy and rival Sir Ken Jones. He went out on a uh, folly of his own to do what he did. This has all the hallmarks of Walter Mitty. After Sir Ken's resignation from the police force in May, Mr Weston sought to have it withdrawn, with the assistance of his friend, the Parliamentary Secretary for Police, Bill Tilley, and the head of the Police Association, Greg Davies. There are no specific findings against Mr Davies, but the OPI says the association crossed boundaries in its involvement in the police leadership crisis. It's not surprising that they've tried, uh, tried to smear us and me personally, uh, but of course there's, uh, there's nothing there, no indications of any wrongdoing. Mr Weston is accused of six counts of misconduct. Criminal charges are now being considered. Given the API report, he is resigning as an employee of the government. Mr Weston denies any wrongdoing and says he'll vigorously defend any legal action, describing the OPI's investigation as biased, highly subjective and legally flawed. Bill Tilley has also resigned as Parliamentary Secretary and will move to the government backbench. And Sir Ken has broken his silence on the affair, with a lengthy statement arguing his contact with Mr Weston has been seriously misconstrued. The OPI found no evidence that Peter Ryan condoned Mr Weston's actions, and the Minister maintains he knew nothing of them. Because he apparently knows nothing, and I ask, how stupid does the Deputy Premier think Victorians are? Less than a year into the job, he's lost a Chief Commissioner, a Deputy Commissioner, a now Parliamentary Secretary and a Ministerial Advisor. Francis Bell, Lateline.